What's good everyone, Justin here from Fear Quest. Uh, welcome back to the Plastic Soul. The Plastic Soul being my toy reviews. Um, I'm gonna get that work back into the intro. Um, yeah, but the Plastic Soul is what I've always called my toy reviews, even before Fear Quest was a thing. So, uh, yeah. Uh, we got some really cool stuff in the day. Um, we got... Well, hold on, no, 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 let's wait a minute, let's wait a minute on that. Uh, when I was a young boy, my father took me into the city. Uh, wrong story. Um, when I was a wee lad, my mother took me in a video store. I was probably um, looking for a Nintendo game or something, and uh, she uh, brought me probably the coolest thing I've ever freaking seen. And uh, it was a VHS box of the 1987 Masters of the Universe film. I love that movie. I know there's a lot of people that don't, a lot of you don't. I was actually doing some research on it. We'll go, um, and it's actually called, a, they, they considered a critical and commercial failure, but it, it did grow 17 million worldwide against a budget of 22 million. So yeah, that's kind of a failure, but it is now regarded a classic cult film, which I'm still cool with. It, I, I've always loved the movie. He-Man's been my jam since I was a little little dude, man. He-Man was freaking awesome. And when that movie came out, it was fantastic. And, you know, I had all the He-Man toys. Everything you could freaking think of, I had it. Um, but they never put out figures for that movie. And um, I think they may have put something. I've seen something. I don't know if it was real or fake. But... I've seen some sort of weird He-Man figure, but I don't know if it's a customer or not. But I never got any of them, and they and I know they didn't make anything if they did besides the He-Man. But anyway, thankfully Super Seven gave us one last run with the Masters of the Universe Classics Collection from the '87 film, and um, got on the day. Uh, if you're familiar with. Maddie Collector, Super 7, everything comes in a shipper box, first off. I've already took everyone out of the shipper box, but it looks like this. Just bit with their name there. Um, yeah. So, let me show you these kids. Here we have them in their packaging. Um, they come like the old school. I mean, no, not old school, but I guess old school, because it's been years now since the classic line's been going. Uh, packed just like the other ones. Um, I can't tell if they're a little bigger or not. You can't see their heads, really. I mean, you can... Get down there and look, but if you're looking straight on, other well, their heads are cut off, and I don't like that at all, so it's not going to make me feel bad about ripping them out of this boxes in a little bit. A lot of people cringe when you rip these guys open, but, I mean, a lot of the true collectors don't. I don't have many of the Classics line. Uh, I just never got the opportunity to do it. I was too busy buying horror stuff, and um, if you missed it right when it came out, if you didn't subscribe, uh, they had a subscription. Um, if you missed that and you're going to be paying a lot of money for each figure. I just never got caught up. I've got He-Man, the Filmation He-Man, and Skeletor, and a couple other randoms here and there, but um, I just never got all the line. Wish I had of. Maybe it's going to be a journey for me one day. A really long, sad journey, but we'll see. But anyway, here we got uh, Rebel Leader He-Man. I have wanted a figure of this since I was freaking eight years old. Um, I get a lot of glare there, but we're gonna get them out of here in a minute. Show the box there. I believe your He-Man. Some cool artwork here on the back. And if you want to pause, I'll stop here for two seconds. You know, pause and read all that. I actually read them earlier. They're pretty cool, and it, I don't know. It gave some like lore to these, like the movie, like characters and i'm probably gonna go watch this film in a minute to uh, check it out yeah here we've got commander karg um this guy he he like he he almost grossed me out when i was a little kid he's nasty looking and like his little bio on the back tells why he's so nasty and i didn't understand him at all at first when i was first started the film you know he's one of the first um baddies to arrive and i was like is that beast man and it turned out not to be, like, remember I said I was eight, but I remember it like it was yesterday because it was a freaking awesome moment. But it's cool they made him a figure. That's great and all. I know they got Blade out and they've got Gwildor, but could we have not gotten Beast Man instead? I mean, it's Beast Man. 
But he's awesome. Like, he should have been put out a long time ago with Blade and them, and Beast Man should have been the figure here. But who am I? You look at the back here. There's cool artwork. And if you want to look at this thing, it tells about him. Just hit that pause and read on. You know what I'm saying? You know, like, they put the freaking logo over their face. I don't like that. That's, that's awful. But, yeah. Dark Despot Skeletor. Up in there. Like, dude, the first time I saw him like, on film, it was like, oh, I'd probably be like, stoned to death for this but to me it was like watching freaking Darth Vader like walk down the freaking in the, in the throne room or whatever I mean this he could be a total Sith Lord and this his outfits fantastic um, there on the back I'm actually gonna be careful opening these because I'm gonna keep the, the uh, card so, and last but certainly not least, we've got God Skeletor. Like, what a beast. This figure looks freaking amazing. I can't wait to get him out of here and check him out because, I mean, he looks awesome. But, logo cuts everything off. So. Look at that. That's freaking sweet. Look at this little thing here. And okay, we'll here we have him, man. Uh, Rebel Leader He-Man is freaking awesome. Uh, holy crap. I mean, this dude is freaking sweet. He's a beast. He's huge. Um, Yeah, uh... One thing, I didn't say this earlier, this is the William Stout collection. Um, due to some license, like likeness licensing, I think there were some problems and then I don't think they could get old Dolph for some reason, even though I think, well, who does NECA? NECA does the Rocky figures. But I don't know what the deal was with Super 7, but so they just, they went with the William Stout designs, which they still made him kind of look like Dolph. Like, there's some similarities there. Not total. He's not as handsome as old Dolph, but you can see it. And in his uh, other head here. No, no Dolph there. This is, um... <laughs> oh, man. Y'all ever seen the old horror movie? It's one of my favorite cult classics, uh, Rock and Roll Nightmare. Well, this is like Thor... Oh man, that hair and that face. I do not like this one. It will not be on him. I mean, it's kind of like they took Dolph's jaw on this one and Dolph's eyes and put on this one. And yeah, mix and match. I don't know. That's a, that hair though. Nope. But anyway, it's a cool accessory. Some people might like it. You know, everyone's entitled to their opinion. Uh, opinion. He-Man also came with his uh, blaster here. Pretty cool looking. I really need to do my nails. They look awful. Hands all cracked from the cold weather. It's really cold here, by the way. It sucks. It's cold one day and hot the next. Came with this small dagger here. And a little little knife. Okay, it's cool stuff. And they'll all go in and stuff. I'll show you in a minute. Um... As far as articulation goes, they've all got the same articulation, so I'm only going to go into it with one figure, um, and I'm going to use him for the example. But first off, let's talk about this dude's size. He's big. Um, here he is next to the original um, Matty Mattel, uh, Matty Collector, Masters of the Universe, original He-Man figure they came out with. When they when they launched the new line, and he's he's standing tall. He's taller. He's just all around bigger. Um, let me see if I can uh, get the filmation on over here. Hold on one second. Uh, okay, hold up. 
We're, we're going to go crazy for a minute here. <laughs> Dalmatian one. Oh, shit, I got Trapjaw. And Orko. I forgot I even had them. So that means I got Prince Adam laying around somewhere. I forgot I had Trapjaw. That's cool. And the Dalmatian. He man here. I don't want to take a lot of time in this because this video is going to get lengthy. Yeah, he's bigger than both of them. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't remember a Super 7. Was was this, was this he Super 7 or Maddie? I don't remember. Sorry for whoever. I don't remember who it was. But, yeah, this is the cartoon filmation version. This is the one they came up with. And here's Beast Dolph Lundgren back there. Although he's not Dolph Lundgren. But, yeah, look how much bigger he is. That's freaking cool. All right, let's get into his articulation real fast. Right here. He does not have a display spot in in my home. He's always laying random places. Uh, he goes with me. <laughs> if, I, if I travel, he's going with me. Um, so, yeah, he's always just laying weird places throughout the, the, the apartment here. It's kind of bizarre. But, like, while ago, he was laying by the bed. Anyway, I take him everywhere. I'm weird. Yeah. Ends. We're going to get a look at the other figures before I go on the articulation because they're in the background. I shouldn't have put them there. And they're kind of in the way. So let's move big boy over here and get old General Karg. All right, get a look at him here. That face is fantastic. They did an excellent job there. He's just as nasty as I remember. And I never... Realized he had those ears. I mean, <laughs> I'm going to go watch this movie after this video. And, uh, dude, ugh. he's horrifying. He's in my nightmares. There's his hooked hand, his blaster. Look at his. They did a really good job on his paint app there. Good detail on the sculpts all around. He's got some weird tools hanging on his belt there. torture devices of some sort it's being around here look at his this is all molded plastic unlike he-man he-man's actually got cloth on his cape this is all just molded plastic but it looks good it's a good fur effect there good cape there so there that cat is oh wait he's got this weird other um thing i don't i don't remember that this being in the movie like i said i'm gonna go watch it again I don't know what this is. I just have no clue. It could be all kinds of weird things. Yeah, we all know how kinky He-Man is. All right. Skeletor here. This is where it's at, kids. Oh my God. Look at this freaking sculpt on this outfit, man. I mean, I'm seeing things that I didn't need, that I didn't know were in the movie. Look, I didn't know he had little skulls all over. Look, I've got it on Blu-ray now, but I'm not paying that much attention to it. I'm just used to the old VHS. And just look at that. Like, if this is all like screen accurate, I'm very impressed, and I'm very excited to go check it out again. There's his sword. Look at that face sculpt there. Oh, there we go. And yeah, in the movie, you can see uh, Frank Langella's eyes and, like, <laughs> you can see his eyelids and everything under the, whatever prosthetic they had on his face. And um, you can see his lips over his teeth. Gave him a strange look, but he looked fantastic. Let's get this guy down here. Let's see about this hood. Let's see if he's, like, half, half sculpted here or not. Oh, sorry. I've got to start using my tripod again. Now he's got an actual sculpted head under there. But but the hood won't come back. It's molded um, plastic there. Back to your feet, soldier. Check out the Havoc staff. Looks really freaking cool. Really cool, 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 cool. I love this dude. He may be my favorite. I love the double drape there, the hood and the there. That's really cool. His cape looks fantastic. Uh, man, 
figure of the year already or decade maybe so is it you is it you all right he's freaking sweet stand over there bud and then we've got god skeletor this is when he takes what, what what's he do man it's been forever he gets the power sword he don't get the power sword he open yeah he uses the power sword to open the the um the eye yeah, and that's when he man breaks loose and i have the power and then they fight but that's after he morphs into god skeletal here in his gold armor with his gold havoc staff wielding sweet powers yeah they did a really freaking good job on this super seven awesome it's freaking amazing and he's got the one drape there because he don't have the hood he's got the crazy crown wow wow all right sorry about that shaky camera there anyway yeah Freaking beautiful. Right, did not show off the cosmic key that comes with um, the uh, the original Skeletor, not not the God one, the Despot one. Uh, the cosmic key, it was featured with uh, another figure way back in the day. I remember my buddy had him and he was for sale. We were at this like uh, little 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 small con that he had a toy booth set up. I don't remember what the figure is called. Maybe Thief Thief He Man. I don't know. If, I don't know if he was. He-Man or not, but it was He-Man, and he had a cloak on and, like, a little like a Robin mask over his eyes, and he came with a cosmic key, but uh, I don't think it looked this good. This is a rec this is a different sculpt, and I wanted that figure because of the cosmic key, but now I have the cosmic key. That's, that's really cool looking, though. Okay, I don't really think I gave you guys that really good of a look at He-Man a while ago, so... Let's take a better look at his face here, his hair. He's got that Mel Gibson mullet going on. Hell, why am I calling him Mel Dolphort? Those cool shoulder pads there. Some cool sculpting on that. That looks really good. Cool chest piece. Getting the focus. Little He-Man nipple action. Upper armbands here look really good. Gauntlets or gauntlet wrist shield, whatever you want to call it. The straps there it makes it look good. Holster for his gun. Holster for his uh, dagger. Cool belt here. This is all one sculpt though. This is not separate pieces. It's all together. Um. He's got the strap there and a strap there. Check out these boots, man. Freaking shin guards are in knee, in knee guards and shin guards. Freaking fantastic. Uh-oh. Got some paint. Paint problems right there. I'll get that off. He does have a little sculpt on his boot there, too. A little V in that, yeah. All right, so the articulation. He-Man's head will look left, or is this your right, or my left? I don't know. And the other way, it will look up. It'll look down. He'll look further down than he will up, because that mullet that stops some stuff. But his arms, and it will go up that high. They will rotate all the way around. I really didn't want to rotate them all the way around because I didn't want to get them stuck there, but there we go. He's got a swivel in the bicep here. One bend in the elbow, which I really wish they would give him two bends, but I don't know how these, the, I mean, the figures are. Wrist will rotate and in and out motion there. Same with this arm. He's got pretty good ab crunch there. Waist, turn the waist, he will go all the way around. These hulking thighs here, they will spread <laughs> about that wide. Yeah, they'll probably go full splits, but I think the outfit's stopping that. 
Um, yep, there's just He Man crotch. Uh, oh, yeah. Sorry, one more look here. Here's the sheath that his uh, sword will go down into. Knees, single bend. Wait. Yeah, there's just a couple of notches in there, but. He has no shin swivel, no thigh swivel. I could tell. I thought these were gonna be, but they're not. He's got a little rotation on his um angle. It'll kind of go. It'll kind of go back and forth a little bit. Not much up and down motion, probably due to that. And like all the figures, they're gonna have the same articulation, minus uh you know whatever their outfits get in the way of. So. And if you're familiar with, you know, the Masters of the Universe Classics line, most of the bodies are the same. So this cloth cape, though, is great. It's a good addition. I'm glad it wasn't molded like the other figures. I'll get him out with the fan and, you know, take some cool toy photos with this cape blowing in the wind. But yeah, man. My childhood has come. It's, it, my, my wishes for my childhood has finally come true. What, 32 years later? Yeah, I'm old. I'm 40. So, yeah. Freaking beautiful line. Sorry if I got a little too talky in that. I really like these guys a lot. I know they're not really horror or anything like that, but they do. They fall in the sci-fi realm of things. And, um, I mean, Skeletor can be a scary bastard if you really, if you, it's in the movie movie version, not, you know, the cartoon version. He's, he's kind of laughable, but, um, yeah. Uh, Super freaking excited. I'm going to take a lot of sweet photos with these dudes because um, I love, you know, taking toy photos and whatnot. Uh, don't know if they're sold out. I, I don't really know. I know these are pre-orders. I pre-ordered these guys over a year ago, and um, they were supposed to come out in the fourth quarter, and we just got them. So they may be sold out, but they'll be hitting like eBay and places if you guys are looking for them. Still check Big Bad, big, big bad Toy Store because uh, that's where I got them from, and... Um, See if they still got any available. If you guys are, you know, He-Man fans or wanting, you know, the old 87 figures, which we should have gotten years ago. But, uh, yeah, two thumbs up for me. Hope you guys give me some thumbs up for this video because these guys deserve it, man. Um, anyway, so hit the thumbs up. Hit the thumbs down. Say, don't ever talk to me again. I don't care. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. Love you kids. See you later.